Okay, we're finally ready to introduce the notion of function definition. And this is quite close to a function declaration, but not quite. Um, so what is a function definition? It's just syntactic sugar to combine a define with a lambda, which happens very often. So that's usually what we want to do. So for most cases, we want to use a function definition. And then in fewer cases, we will see when it's important to use a lambda directly. So this is, you can think of this as uh, syntactic sugar. So it's just a shorthand notation for some, for an equivalent, um, more verbose version of defined variable lambda. Okay. So how do we write it? Uh, the, the syntax is uh, define, and then you put parentheses. So if you s surround your first thing with parentheses, then you're defining a function and you will, you would expect one or more identifiers or variables. And then the body will be one or more terms. So this is different. If you notice, this is different, different from, um, defining a variable, a single variable, because when you define a variable here would be an expression, but because we are talking, uh, this, corresponds to the body of the lambda, then we can have one or more terms and not just expression. So this is an important distinction that I hope you will uh, realize. But we'll revise when you do a few examples when we go through the homework assignment. Um, so again, to recap, whenever you see this, uh, define parentheses variable and terms, that actually expands to define a variable and then you put a lambda there. Okay, so um, as an exercise, and I'm not going to do it here, I would like you guys to try to do this by yourselves. Uh, so try to write um, a, a, a function definition um, that has two cases. So the first case would be when n is greater than 100, and in that case, just return n minus 10. Otherwise, return if uh, n is smaller or equal than 100 then you would return calling m where the argument is calling m where the argument is n plus 11. so try to implement this function in record and let me know maybe in the discord channel how much is what is the result of calling m of 99. And that's basically basically it. So this is kind of like a informal homework assignment that you should do just to confirm your knowledge. And if you don't understand, feel free to contact me during office hours. So the last thing I would like us to do is to just go over the exercise we just saw with the radius uh, defining circumference. And I want to redefine it. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do circumference 2, but using the function definition notation. So I'm going to do this for now. Things become much simpler. I have one too many parentheses. Okay, and if I do... of 2, circumference 2 of 2, then I would expect to see the same value. So let's run this. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so if I do three, just so you guys believe me, and I run it again, I get 18. Okay, so it appears to be running, working properly. Okay, so I'm going to save this and I'm going to upload it to our course web page. I hope you had fun. And please try again uh, to do by yourselves the um, McCarthy function. Try to implement this and let me know how it went. Okay, have a good one.